I don't care what anyone says, I consider this to be the sequel to the live-action Lion King movie. Mainly just to say something good came out of that movie. Beast was directed by Balthazar Kormakur and stars Idris Elba as a man who takes his daughters to visit their mom's home in Africa after she passes, only to be relentlessly attacked by a lion that just can't seem to die. I'm not gonna lie, I really wasn't expecting much from this movie. The premise seemed fairly generic and the trailers were fine, but I went into this with an open mind and actually had a surprisingly good time. Idris Elba, of course, is great in everything he's done, and even though he's done a lot of action roles in the past, here he really sells that he's just a normal guy thrust into a horrifying situation. A lot of times with stories like these, the main character could have been like a tracker or in the military so they have all these special skills and stuff, and thankfully that's not the case here. I find with stories like these, if your protagonist is a regular person thrust into an impossible situation, it can make the film that much more intense. Couple that with how great Leah Jeffries and Ayanna Haley were as his daughters, you really felt like they were a real family and you wanted to see them all get out of the situation alive. The biggest part of this that could have made or break the film were its intense action scenes. As I've said before, I think for action and intense scenes to work, you need to be able to tell what's happening and you should care about the characters, and the film does a great job at both of those things. Rather than film the intense sequences with a bunch of different edits and camera setups, a lot of them are actually filmed in really big one-take sequences. I actually didn't even register it at first, but then I realized they hadn't cut in a while and I realized they were doing really big one takes. For me, a film has to justify a use of big one take sequences or films as a whole, and here, Cormacur uses them very wisely. Rather than overusing the one take, he saves it mainly for any intense action scene or to really make you feel the wide scope of the land that they're in. Not every scene uses it, and I feel like the ones that do use it to their advantage. One of the things I have problems with are some choices with the story and characters. This film is only 90 minutes long and it's paced out pretty well, but there's a few moments that felt like there could have been either cut out because they didn't service a story or take us out of the film in general. There's some moments where Elba is having these dream sequences, but they're mostly pointless and you can cut them completely and not miss anything. There's also poachers in this, but aside from setting the story in motion, they're almost entirely pointless. Rather than use them to the film's advantage as another force to be reckoned with, they just show up to be more bodies for the lion to feast on. I also feel like there was a lot of missed opportunity to really get us to understand our main characters emotionally and feel for them even more. We learn in the beginning their mother died and that it's had an effect on all of them, but we never see her or their relationships with her, and I feel like that if this film really wanted that emotional punch, then showing their relationship with her up to her death would have added even more. Then, in the scenes where his daughters are having outbursts at him about why did he leave her and why wasn't he there when she died, could have had an even bigger impact. While I may have some issues with certain narrative elements, I do think that this is tightly written in a way that helps keep the pacing up and keeps us invested in our characters. Had us tried to fit in 50 million different subplots or take our attention away from the main character to focus on some side characters, then I think the film would have ultimately failed. Cormacur understands that this is a suspense-driven film, and the best way to anchor it was to have believable and relatable characters at the center for us to root for to survive. While it may have some flaws here and there, I found Beast to be a really fun time and a surprisingly good thriller at that. The performances are great, the action is intense, the cinematography is really good. I'd honestly recommend you go check this one out. If nothing else, see it so we can get more movies of Idris Elba fighting other characters from the Lion King remake. I'm gonna give Beast a 7 out of 10.